The effect of multi screen transitions like this is very well suited for using in vlog or video intro. So, in this video, we will show you how to create this effect. And if you are interested in this effect, keep watching. First, open Video Pro Vlogger. Import the four videos we have prepared. Then, we first need to take a screenshot of the first frame of each video. Double click on the video in the media library, will then appear in the preview window. Click on the pause button and then pull the progress bar to the first frame. Click on the bottom in the upper right corner to take a screenshot. Save the first frame of the other three videos using the same method. Then drag these four images back to VideoPro Vlogger. Create four overlay tracks. And lay the four images on the screen in order. Like this. Next, we find a clip in the overlay track at the bottom. Then find a video that goes with it. Drag the video to the corresponding overlay track. And click Motion to enter Motion Editor. Now we need to create a scene of the image zooming from small to large. Add the first keyframe on the far left of the timeline. Click on this bottom to adjust the parameters. Here you can use a frame control, which is much easier to work with. Next, we need to do some simple math to adjust the parameters. We know that the original size of the small frame is 1920 and 1080, and we need to fit it in a quarter of the frame. Thus, we need to make the overall frame of 3840 and 2160. The center point is located at 0 and 1080. Fill in this number. Then the image will look like this. Next, we put a second keyframe and 1 to 2 seconds. Change the coordinates back to the initiate state. Adjust the speed to speed down. Click Apply. And then we add a text. Now we have our first split screen effect. Let's continue to do the zoom out effect. First, move the playhead to the right position. Then, click the screenshot button on top. Take a screenshot of the screen. After re-importing the image into VidiPro Vlogger, use Ripple Edit to crop the length of each clip. Then we we'll re-import a picture to the track where the original clip is located. Have it fit to screen and click Motion. Same as before. We we'll adjust the parameters of frame control so that the image goes from full screen back to the split screen, like this. Don't forget to put a keyframe at the end of the timeline. This completes a split screen effect zoom in and zoom out. Now you just need to use the same way to adjust the other three parts like this. Alright, you have reached the end of today's video, and if you want to learn more about other cool editing effects 
or know what has been going on with Video Pro Vlogger, be sure to click that subscribe button to subscribe to if you haven't yet. And we'll see you soon in our next video. Hope you enjoy. Bye bye.